So, you're gonna, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna say, what's up? I'm Beetlejuice and I'm out here today. I'm about to go into a seminar and I'm gonna learn how to get some real nice girls. Okay? I can do that. I'll learn how to pick up some hot women. I know how to pick I know how to pick up a hot woman right now. Say, say what's up, it's Beetlejuice. My, my, name, my name is Beetlejuice, right now. I'm getting ready to pick up a hot woman. She's 4'8", she's 4'9", and I'm the heaviest guy. What you doing, you're just gonna do a whole setup. This is like the introduction. So you, hey, it's Beetlejuice. You're gonna repeat almost everything I say, ready? Okay. Hey, I'm Beetlejuice, I'm out here today. I'm just about to go into a seminar so I can learn how to pick up women and get laid. Okay. You got that? I got that. All right, here we go, right to the camera. I'm, I'm, I'm Beetlejuice, I'm getting ready to get laid, and what else? No, no, I'm Beetlejuice. I'm, I'm Beetlejuice, I'm just about, I'm about to get, get laid. No, no, I'm Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice. I'm about to go into a seminar. I'm seminar. <laughs> and I'm about to learn how to get laid. And I'm about to learn to get laid. Six months. I understand what you're saying. All right, what's up? It's Beetlejuice. I'm getting right. ready to go into a right. seminar where I'm going to learn right. how to pick up right. hot women and get laid. So right. All right, right to the camera. Okay. All right. I'm going to get hot with the women. It's my name is Beetlejuice. And when they want to come in, they have to do this call me. And, uh, and that is, uh, my name is Seminar. <laughs> I don't think you have to do is call me. Right here. I learned how to go upstairs and get laid. And six months. Hey y'all, Bill the Hall of Fame Collector here. Another video, guys. I tell you what, man. I'm supposed to be in Hawaii right now. And I had to cancel. Um, I kid you not. Maybe the week after the National, I just did not feel good. Just dizzy, uh, weak, fever. I mean, everything got me pretty much flu-like symptoms I guess I don't know it was not COVID trust me I tested a thousand times and um, surprisingly actually knowingly I had pulled a tick off of me about a month prior and um, had sent it in and it did come back with a number of things positive so um, needless to say number one I wasn't feeling well to begin with uh, number two having this positive test on this tick uh, is now forced me to be on heavy meds, uh, antibiotics and things like that. It do not allow you to drink. It does not allow you to be in any excessive sun and a number of other things. So that being said, I had to last minute cancel the uh, Hawaiian trip for two weeks. So I would have been, uh, I would have been still there, uh, but, uh, didn't happen, but happy to report. I am feeling better. Um, still on the meds, but I am feeling better. So I'm not quite sure if I want it to be the tick or not. I don't know. It's a kind of a weird double-edged sword. I don't, I don't, I don't know, you know. But uh, in any event, I wanted to shoot another video and show some cards here. Again, last video was national coverage. Um, that was obviously the cream of the crop pickup for the uh, video uh, and the trip experience it was great. But uh, moving on here. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, just five cards to show off. And uh, again, this catches me up as well. I do have a huge, huge once a year type deal Hall of Fame autograph pickup to show, um, which will be probably just by itself in a separate video. So look out for that. But on to the sports cards here. Uh, I'm going to run through these two really quick before I get into really heavy 90s. Um, Basketball Hall of Fame autographs. I mean, I'm always still looking for Basketball Hall of Fame autographs, and I prefer on-card autographs. So some of these guys that, you know, you can get pretty cheap cuts or or signed photos, TTM type stuff, you can get them, but maybe they don't really, they only have one certified on-card autograph. So I kind of, I hold out, you know, and uh, this is the first time, I think there's only one or two cards that he has signed on-card autograph. I'm happy to get this one here. And this is from the class of 2021, Jay Wright. I think you guys might recognize, uh, you know, uh, Villanova basketball. Obviously, he's uh, comes from, uh, he was a coach there for quite a while. I think out of 21 years, he had 16 double or NCAA appearances, two championships, uh, almost a 700 win percentage. Uh, you know, just a, 
a great coach and uh, very difficult on card. You'll, you will see stickers, but on card, not so much. Also from the same set, believe it or not, and I think this is, these were signed at their inauguration, so by Panini. So they were there, they had them sign, you know, only 25 cards. So these are, these are actually pretty tough cards and, uh, you know, you might want, like Larry Bird autographs or Magic Johnson, but they signed so many cards. These here are actually, I would argue, more valuable. So this one here is, again, I think this is her only on-card autograph. And again, they're numbered to 25. Pearl Moore, uh, who was inducted last year as well, 2021. Um, she was actually a basketball player uh, back in the late 70s, early 80s. The women's basketball league she's a prolific scorer and holds all sorts of records for women's college basketball uh so she finally got inducted again no on card autographs until this one came out so um i got a great deal on this one man another one came up for auction and sold for four times what i paid so uh, really happy to get that one and i think my hall of fame autograph uh count for basketball is at 242 i could be wrong 242 something like that crazy Okay, I'm moving on to some 90s cards, and I got three here, and they each are pretty unbelievable. You got one for the PSA lovers. You got one for the rare, hard-to-find, kind of sort of tricky 90s card, and then you have a game-changer type of uh, innovative insert. So I'm going to start off with Greg Maddox, of course, since he is numero uno on the priority list, and that is this one. I finally nabbed one of these, and uh, it is the second lowest... In 1996, it was, uh, they really went crazy. This particular product, first to really have cards with super low print runs. And the mirror gold is to 30, and that is the hardest card and the holy, holy grail. But with just 15 print run more, a print run of 45, the second hardest uh, card to get was this one. Uh, the Select Certified Mirror Blue. Mirror gold of uh, mirror golds of thirty, mirror blues of forty-five, and then the mirror reds are to ninety. But yeah, just fifteen more than the mirror golds, and the mirror golds cost ridiculous amounts of money. Um, I was bidding on a PSA ten of this on Heritage, and just was crazy outbid. I got this for you know less than half of the PSA ten. This here looks like it's possibly on a car, but upon further inspection, it's just on the sleeve. So it is a BGS nine mint. I absolutely love it. This thing did pop up on eBay, and um, uh, I they got I think I paid a quarter of what the guy's original ask was, if I remember correctly. So I uh, was really happy to get that uh, Mirror Blue. I mean, this is an innovative card, and I can't get a good spot for it. Um, but uh, very innovative card um, with the shine and, and what it did for the, uh, for the hobby in general, just making that drastic move to super... Uh, low print run stuff. Next, I'm gonna go to something that the PSA guys love, right? If you're these uh, super, you know, high grade guys, whatever, you'll like this one too. And it is a very beautiful card. And that is from 2000. This is still 90s to me. 2000, 2001. Things kind of changed, but two, 2000. Uh, finest gold refractor die cut. And so the die cuts mean they were pack issued. There were a lot of backdoor versions of these that are not pack issued and they don't have that deckle edge you can see that deckle edge so this is pack issued and they're extremely tough um gold refractor manny ramirez and it's very cool it's counterpart so it's uh, matched up with another player and on the back here you have vlad guerrero hall of famer and you do have some uh refractor finished in the back as well they're not numbered but the gold refractors i mean i was just do, trying to do some math and i really want to say there's maybe about 50, uh, if the math checks out right, uh, of each of these cards. And uh, another thing, too, is this is a PSA 10, right? But PSA is really bad at not picking up the uh, the non-pack issue, the non-deckle with the deckle. So the pop report, I think, on this might be four or something like that. And if, for people that care about that crap, I, I, I don't know if the uh, a lot of the pop reports are higher because... They were grading the non-die cut ones too uh, as the same card. So, um, and these decal edges are condition sensitive as you'd imagine. Last, I take you to this card here. It's an absolutely uh, fantastic card as well. And this is a tricky one. Actually, uh, 
you know, it doesn't have the flash of these ones here, but they, they are certainly tricky. And it's from 1997, Collector's Choice. You might be scratching your head, what on earth, Collector's Choice, 1997. But check this out. This is the uh, uh, Crash the Game, You Crash the Game, uh, Mary Ramirez, but it's the instant win. And that's what makes it tough. It is the instant win stamp. The instant win stamps are, this is red, um, instant winners. One in 721 packs to get an instant winner. But the trouble is, is that uh, this was a card that you would send in. You'd, I guess, uh, mail it, follow this and whatever. And you'd get a, uh, like, a like a full set or whatever as a, as a reward or something like that. So, you know, back in that day, everybody you know, who pulled one of these cards, uh, filled out the thing and sent it in, but you never got this card back. So that being said, this was an unredeemed winner, more or less. And, uh, you just don't see these and uh, they go for pretty good money. These instant winners, um, kind of a tricky card, right? So I kind of cater to like, uh, the game changers, the, the graded lovers. And, and this like really tricky card here, the instant winner collector's choice really kind of flies under the radar. Uh, unless you are a 90s expert. Um, and uh, that would be that. So I have the three amazing 90s cards, the two Hall of Fame autographs for basketball, and uh, a little update on my health and status. And um, again, I don't know. next video, huge, huge Hall of Fame autograph. Uh, for baseball, which does not happen often anymore. But man, I'm excited to show you. Take care.